Hey guys, Jamie here, Divinely Canadian Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for you guys, and it'll be for the sign of Cancer. Let's get into your reading, Cancers. Remember that messages may or may not resonate during the reading. Keep the ones that resonate, leave the ones that don't, otherwise it'll get confusing. And uh, cards in the reverse, and they come in upside down, I will provide you messages I receive from Spirit Guys. Let's see your, ooh, your Spirit of the Animal Oracle is uh, the cat. Independent you are, Cancers. So this says you're a natural healer. Your intuition is strong. You don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. Yep, because cats are like, um, you know, royalty. Because we are their slaves. <laughs> okay, so let's get you a spiritual AF message and see what you need to hear, Cancers. What do cancers need to hear, spirit guys? What do cancers need to hear? Okay, well, uh, OMG, calm the F down. 99% of your problems would be so much better handled if you could just simply calm the F down before you do anything, okay? Try it. Are you uh, butthurt about something? Well, calm the F down. Are you afraid? Well, calm the F down. Is your house on fire? Okay, well, get out of there and call 911 and then calm the F down. <laughs> okay, so there you go. There's your... Uh, your uh, advice for the day. <laughs> so uh, let's see what we have for the uh, life purpose oracle messages. Okay, what does cancer need to hear from the life purpose oracle messages, please? What do they need to hear? Ooh, protected. Time to decide and family. So uh, you are safe and supported while you change your career. Could be for a select few of you guys. And we've got time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. And then we've got family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. Love it. Okay, well, there you go. Now we're going to roll the dice. They have every letter of the alphabet on them, including for a while. I'm going to roll until I have five different letters. Could be your person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials, really. Whatever helps you identify who it is you're dealing with, okay? First letter is K. X. Wild, of course. N, as in uh, Nick. And U. And last but not least, the letter U again. U again? <laughs> oh, wow, that's funny. F. I was just thinking, like, we if we had a C, we'd have F-U-C-K. <laughs> After just pulling out this one, right? With all that uh, F-U uh, energy on that card. So <laughs> maybe it was just really trying to tell you to calm down. Let's see what uh, your energies are, Cancers. And remember that my readings are timeless. Could have happened already. Could be happening right now or could happen in your future. Okay, as well as vice versa. I could talk about you being on this side, Cancer, but you feel like your person's here and you're over there and that works just fine. Then we'll do the energies between the two of you guys over here, okay? So let's get into your reading. Cancers, energies, please. What are Cancers, energies? The hermit. Soul searching, trying to find your light, your path, your way, your direction that you uh, need to be taking and confused by it. It says it's time for contemplation to retreat and go within and the, be a beacon for others on their spiritual path of enlightenment. King of air to be dealing with a Libra, an Aquarius or a Gemini. And that's the uh, humpback whale. Could be dealing with somebody who's in a position of power, authority. You know, they could be a police officer in the army, in the navy, in the marines. Wow, the emperor. And they could be a captain of that ship. They could run a business, a corporation. Um, could be older than you. They are in a... Uh, Leadership role for sure, and uh, we've got the Queen of Air Earth. <laughs> yeah, I love it. 
So uh, this is uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. If somebody's very grounded, you've got uh, your life all in order. You don't need anybody to take care of you. Mm -hmm. But who is this person, right? We've got, uh, you'll be given some advice. So uh, I'm not sure what that's going to be, but uh, you're a very grounded, successful energy. Somebody who is uh, very intelligent, very educated. It always feels like somebody's watching me. Okay, well, that's interesting. Well, uh, we're going to see what uh, is going on here with your energies here. So Cancer's energies, please, Spirit guys, clarify the Hermit. Clarify the Hermit. Three of Wands. I've been waiting forever and ever. <laughs> I feel like that's why you're soul searching. You're, uh, you've been uh, waiting for something. What is it? This person to come back into your life. The Five of Pentacles. Being lonely. Feeling alone. Feeling like you've been left out in the cold. Mm, who are you waiting for? Knight of Cups. Are you for real? Are you waiting for your knight in shining armor to come and save you? <laughs> uh, is this your fantasy? Okay, if you're living in a riverboat fantasy. <laughs> okay, so uh, the King of Air. Why is the King of Air here? The King of Swords, Spirit Guides. Why is the King of Air for Cancer's Energies? The Hangman. Okay, well, this is the energy of uh, self-sacrificing yourself and being done with it. That's why you're showing off your little brown star there. <laughs> Six of Wands of Victory. Success uh, standing out in a crowd and the world. Okay, I feel like you are abandoning this fantasy that you have that... Um, you know, somebody's going to come and rescue you. I feel like you rescued yourself. Okay, the world. Uh, closing a chapter of your life and beginning a new one. And I feel like you perhaps, you know, self-sacrificed far too much of yourself in a connection with this um, king of swords, you know. I feel like this person is very emotionally detached, hard to read, hard to communicate with because... Uh, you know, they uh, they just like to be the uh, alpha in the relationships. So uh, they expect you to follow their lead. And you're like, I don't think so. And the emperor here, I feel like this is their energy as well. They could be older than you. If not, they're um, somebody who is very mature when it comes to their career. But personal life, that's another story. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you've got your life together, man, okay? I feel like you you know what direction you're going in, and you don't need this person to hold your hand there. You're like, yeah, well, this isn't working for me. All I'm doing is sacrificing my happiness in this, in this situation. Are you kidding me? The Five of Cups. Sadness, depression. Like, this person, that's all they were bringing to your life. Mmm. -hmm. And the Knight of Pentacles, things were going nowhere fast. Okay? Nowhere very fast. And the Queen of Earth. That's you. That's the energy you're giving off, Cancers. And look, Three of Pentacles. You want a team player or nothing. You're like all or nothing. And Death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, you are uh, willing to release everything that no longer serves you in your life and not allow anything that uh, doesn't belong there to come back in your life. And three cups, celebrate. Yeah, you may be celebrating this freedom that you finally have. But uh, use the page of air. Why is the page of air here? Is somebody watching Cancers? The Magician. Ooh. You're creating some magic in your life. You have every every tool in your power and your possession to do so. And uh, is this in love? Magic is in the air, baby. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love. An overflowing cup of love. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. You're like, if I don't find love, I'm going to stay single, independent, grounded, and uh, just uh, work my way to those Ten of Pentacles on my own. Okay, well, let's see your person's energies, Cancers. 
Cancers, persons, energies, please, spirit guys. Cancers, persons, energies. What do we have oh, for cancers, persons, energies? Well, I see that their focus is um, definitely uh, something that uh, they use a lot of. Uh, um, it could be in their, their job, their occupation, you know, they are somebody who uh, works a lot. Wow, Eight of Swords. And perhaps their uh, personal life is a little on the crapola side with the Eight of Swords. Okay, and then uh, three more please, Spirit Guides for Cancer's Person's Energies. <laughs> the uh, King of Cups, baby, baby, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. You could be dealing with another Cancer, another Water Sign. Wow, and I feel like this person is very different than what you have uh, dealt with before. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like this person sees your independence. Tres sexy. <laughs> And, well, well, we've got the Trois d'Epée, the Three of Swords. Okay, well, we're going to see what this is uh, by clarifying all these energies uh, for you. For Cancer's Person, Spirit Guides, uh, clarify the Nine, or the Eight. Sorry, that's the Nine of Pentacles I just shoved out of the way. So, uh, Eight of Pentacles. It says long term, like this person, I feel like when they're in, in a commitment of a situation, regardless of what it is, they are all in and they put like every effort they possibly can to uh, make it work. Whether it's, you know, a work, work, or like a job or a career or a, a relationship, a friendship, a, a job, you know. Two of Pentacles, yeah. I feel like this person strives for balance in their life. And, well, 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 it always feels like somebody's watching me. They're watching you. <laughs> okay, well, well, well. Well, look who's watching you. The Emperor, the Emperor, Aries Energy. Yep. Okay. And uh, the Eight of Swords, I feel like they got lots of regrets. That's what's going on here. King of Pentacles. Uh, well, well, well. This is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Somebody's ready to settle down. Somebody is ready for commitment. And I feel like you gave this person a lot to think about. You know, detaching yourself from this person. I feel like you didn't do this on purpose, but they miss you. Like the deserts miss the rain. Mm-hmm. Holy shit bonkers. They know they played your ass, man. That's uh, the little Rico Suave. The neighborhood bicycle. Everyone's taking a ride on you. know that kind of ride, yeah? And that uh, one. Mm -hmm. They know they played you. The Erovant uh, Taurus energy. Oh, they're ready now for commitment. You're like, sorry, what? What'd you say? <sighs> mm-hmm. Because they've never met anybody like you who has so much love to give. I feel like when they're with you, they feel like everything that they've ever wanted and desired is like being fulfilled with you. And now that you're gone, it's not happening anymore. Right? So, yeah, they realize they took advantage of you. And uh, it could be that... It's too late, baby. It's too late. Haha, <laughs> six of wands. This person, though, is somebody who's very successful at their job, their occupation. And they feel like it's over between you guys, the Ten of Swords. They feel like you, uh, they see your independence and uh, they're really hurt. The Three of Swords. Oh, wow. You know, they're, they're doing great at their job, Nine of Cups. Uh, you are who they are wishing for now. You know, and you want something more when you can have it, you know. Kind of getting that here, too. Mm-hmm. So clarify the uh, Nine of Pentacles, please. They see that you're independent, you're successful, and uh, happy. Happy without them. You know, it's like, like that song, the weekend song. 
Uh, what is it? I see you in a crowded room. You look so happy because I'm not with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that's bad uh, melody there, but you know what song I'm talking about, I hope. <laughs> so uh, they see your independence. They see that you don't need them, and that hurts. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Oh, my goodness. Cancers, this, this is you. Cancer energy. Holy shit, they have such regrets. Holy crap. Oh, they got regrets, man. They're like, I missed note on my divine counterpart. This was the one. I fucked it up. The devil. Yeah, you sure did. You sure did. Look at you now. You make your bed, you lie in it. Mm-hmm. Four of Wands, they dream of being with you, but they know that this will never happen. Because I feel like the way they treated you, they wouldn't even take themselves back. Yeah, look, they know what they did. They know that this was like a, a, a situation that uh, is lose-lose, okay? There's nobody getting anything positive out of this one. Mm hmm Page of Wands. Mm-hmm. Because uh, the offer that they were bringing you was, uh, you know, just having some fun. And then they realized that, uh, well, they wanted more just like you, but um, it's too late, baby, it's too late. Okay, so it's just really, really too late is what I'm getting. Up to you what you do with this, but I have this feeling you don't want anything to do with this person. The way they treated you, it was like every other person, and it's like, um, there's nothing special about me. Oh, there is now? Oh, well, well, isn't that a little too bad for you? <laughs> yeah, Skill of Pentacles, you should have given me more, and I feel like you're talking this over with friends, over drinks, laughing, and um, realizing how much happier you are independent and single and alone, and I feel like they probably see this. Six of Pentacles, you were giving, 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 giving. And getting F all back, right? Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Well, well. Leaving that behind and moving forward. I see balance. Man, oh man. And the pentacle energy here is a little off the charts here. I feel like there's a lot of abundance coming into your energies. And you've got the sun as well. Well, 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 let's see what we have to clarify that uh, page of pentacles energy. Clarify the page of pentacles, spirit cards. Hmm, ten of wands. Uh, yep, I feel like being with this person was driving you crazy, insane, and you needed to, like, let this person go and remove them from your life. And now... Look at you. You're all like chill, relaxed. Everything's so much better now. Right? Mm-hmm. The hangman. Yeah, you self-sacrificed enough of yourself that you're effing done with that. All right? You're just done, dude. Done, done with that. Six of coins. Yeah, you self-sacrificed enough of your energies, right? Six of pentacles, six of pentacles, giving, 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 and getting not much back, right? That's when, uh, that's a red flag, right? When you keep giving and giving and giving in a relationship and you're getting the bare minimum back, if anything, yep. Look at that, justice, and that's what I'm feeling. There just was no balance at all. And there, there's no way that we want to have a relationship without balance. And I feel like that's what you realized and you decided clean slate, new beginning, ace of wands. It's like you don't care if you're with or without someone. You can create your new beginning. Look at that. That blank canvas just ready to uh, be painted. Nine of blades. Yeah, too many sleepless nights, stress, anxiety. Look, even the dog's trying to calm you down. I'm like, you need to leave. Leave and, and take me with you, please. <laughs> Don't leave me here. <laughs> I feel like the dog is really trying to make sure they get the message. And then the sun. They want the sun, too. That little pooch wants the sun. 
And well, look at this. The Knight of Cups. Been dreaming of this knight in shining armor coming to rescue and save you. Well, uh, you may have manifested this into your life because we have the sun and they're serenading you. Wowzers, I've been waiting for someone like you to come into my life. Well, 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 and this may be coming out of the blue. Okay, this person may just come out of nowhere and uh, <laughs> start serenading you. <laughs> well, 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 the devil is here. Okay, and the devil is a, a toxic energy. And um, yeah, I'm feeling like you are not wanting this person back in your life. You're like... <sighs> You know, I feel like you think back of all the memories and all the things that you went through, how they treated you, how it felt, how terrible it made you feel. And I feel like you're just you're just like, you know, you left a real bad taste in my mouth, dude, or do that. And I, 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 I found balance in my life and I feel like you reject this person. I feel like it is too late. I don't feel like you want any anything new with this person. You want to be on your own. So I feel like that dream that you had, you're just like, you know, I fulfilled my own dream with my own self-worth, self-love, and self-respect, right? Yeah, Four of Wands, and I feel like you're celebrating that. Celebrating your freedom. Balance in your life, finally. And the King of Blades, you're partying that the King of Blades is gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's Bing Bong, the Biatch is dead. Is that from Wizard of Oz or something? I don't know. I'm sure it wasn't Bing Bong, but <laughs> it's like happy that this this person's out of your life. I don't know. It was like some movie I was remembering. Anyway, look, they've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for someone like you. Well, it's too effing late, Cancer says. I feel like it's it, it's just too late. I feel like most of you guys. Would never take this energy back. I mean, look, the devil, the devil. This person is the devil. Devil in disguise. Every single one of us has the devil inside. In excess. I tell you, man, this isn't a performance. This is like my crazy uh, personality. I, I sing everything. Uh, my brain's like a jukebox. I'm not looking for no record deals. So when somebody says, Jamie, your singing sucks, stop. I can't stop being me. Because I don't know how I would do that. <laughs> okay cancers close your eyes whether you're in a relationship or not focus on your soulmate simply breathe relax feel their presence feel your heart being filled with soft pink light and when i read the energy to you allow the words that i read to resonate within your heart center okay Oh, 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 you are an angel of light, Cancer. Before you, I surrender past and future. All that matters is this moment. My heart is transformed every time you are near. You're like, well, then maybe you should move along. Because, uh, yeah, uh, you're not worthy of me. And uh, I'm going to go find love that is worthy of me. Yes, 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 yes. Good for you. Because you know sometimes, or most of the time, 99% of the time, the cycle just repeats itself. So you take this person back, and then, you know, the novelty wears off, the excitement wears off, and then we kind of need to have some more excitement, right? So I feel like you know this person, and you know what they are like, and uh, how you shouldn't go uh, dip back in that, into that, right? Like, like one tarot reader says, you know, it's like putting the garbage to the curb, okay, when you break up with somebody, and uh, then you decide, oh, to take them back. So then you're going back to the curb at the garbage while all your neighbors are seeing you, picking through your garbage and bringing it back inside. Okay, who cares what people think, but in reality, like, you're bringing that back in your place. I mean, that uh, belong there to begin with, then uh, why are you taking it back in? Anna, are you a hoarder? You can't get rid of anything? <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got for a healing oracle. Healing, return to heart. Yes. I feel like you do have a, a little bit of a bitterness going on. 
And um, I feel like you're kind of ready now to like love again is what I'm feeling. And uh, return to heart is what we got for you. And I breathe light and stick to the essential for my soul, the present moment. I calm my thoughts. I focus on my heart and find space to be where my light and greatness are. I find peace and inner silence. Yeah. And I feel like that's where you're at. You find peace and inner silence. And this is like the best feeling. And I feel like you want to take it in as long as you can before you attempt love again. <laughs> Oh, crazy. But you know, this person wants you bad and uh, they have regrets. And I feel like that in itself just, <clears throat> you know, makes you feel a little good, even though you don't want them. But, and, you know, it's like, yeah, <laughs> you got a taste of your own medicine kind of, uh, <clears throat> you know, strutting your stuff kind of deal, right? <laughs> Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the reading, I do offer personal readings now. So just check the description box down below and uh, you can get a much more detailed reading if you resonate and you want more. Um, as well, guys, share the reading with anybody who you feel may need to hear these messages and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, especially if you want to be and think you already are. You may not be. So if you could double check that, uh, I'd appreciate it. I appreciate as well your support, guys. So I uh, thank you so much for uh, being part of the DCT family and uh, being entertained by me. <laughs> so, uh, guys, have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you guys are in this world. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video, Cancers. Take care. Bye. Love you more than you know, because I'd be nothing without you.